Hey there friends, it's Kodiak here, one half of the team behind Legion Gaming, and today I wanted to talk about our new friend in the backyard. That's right, Grounded's latest patch, 0.2.0, introduced everyone to our first larger-than-life creature, the Crow. The Crow is a non-hostile creature that will visit the backyard roughly three times a day. The timing of the visits isn't precise, but the interval between visits seems to be rather consistent. Nonetheless, you should have no problem spotting this big guy since he's absolutely massive, at least from our perspective. The crow has four set locations of visits throughout the backyard. The first is on the picnic table. He'll post up on the edge and shuffle about before flying off. The second location is on top of the pond side laser. I don't know why, but this is easily my favorite location. Just something about him perched up there makes it feel just right. The crow will also visit a fence post on the eastern side of the map, above the upper pond. You can't really get to him up there, but you can see him. Now the final location, as you guessed it, is the bird bath. This is another great spot, and it makes complete sense. I'm a little bummed the crow doesn't dip his beak into the water, but it's a cool visual nonetheless. With this new creature also comes a brand new resource, the crow feather. To collect this item, you'll need a tier two ax, and let me tell you, if you find a crow feather, consider yourself lucky. At this point in the game, this resource is incredibly rare. You'll need a tier two ax to break it apart, but once you do, you'll be rewarded for your efforts. The crow feather is used to make three new items in the game. The bed, which is a modified version of the lean-to, feather arrows, which currently don't look or function any different than regular arrows, and finally, the marksman cap. This is a really interesting non-set item that increases the damage of your range attacks when worn. Now the kicker to all of this is the feathers. There is no guaranteed way to get feathers off the crow. You'll just have to be patient. Supposedly, they will fall at his landing locations as well as randomly throughout the backyard, but the only feather we've seen thus far is by the bird bath. It's a rare resource, that's for sure, but it may just be a bit too rare at this point. Reports are trickling in that feathers will fall from the sky and get stuck on the top of grass blades, so keep your eyes up and always be on the lookout for feathers. If you guys know any tricks to help other players find feathers more easily, don't be shy and leave your comments below. But at least now, you can track the bird and hopefully score yourself some of his prized plumage. We hope you enjoyed this special look at the crow in Grounded. Remember to keep it right here for in-depth Grounded content as we continue our journey in early access. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss a video. Also, check out the link below and join us on Discord. Our community of over 5,000 is spread across dozens of great games, so join today and become part of the Legion. My name is Kodiak, and on behalf of Livid and myself, thanks for watching and play on.